I want to change the graduated color dial for my mill set axis. It is now 1.0 mm based and wanted more precise. Large possible spacings between stripes for more accurate depth operation. But how to do that with the rotary head controller on the lathe? This work is based on an idea from Dave at cnczone.com. All credits to him. This is my lathe and mill combi with the X and Y dials over here and the not so precise Z dial over here and I want to change this piece this graduated dial I'm going to change it with a piece of palm and with better graduations on it so um, let's start cutting the material Changing metal tool post uh, for an uh, inner tool post. We have to turn to 32 millimeters. We are at 22, so uh, we will remove 10 millimeters of the diameter. Changing the inner tool post for a plastic tool post. And now a little bit surface finish and want uh, some chamfers inside. putting a chamfer and 
this is the finished result we have to put it on the rotary table for indexing this is a piece that I made on the lathe this adapter with a bolt over here lock it like this put this uh, put this in this hole together close the rotary table lock it and now put the whole rotary table inside the lathe lock the lathe and let it rest on the table now this is the piece of palm I made we have to make the stripes over here long stripe, middle stripes and short stripes so we have to lock it over here tighten it And that's the whole construction. And now we are gonna work like this. So we have the rotary controller set up with the stepper wires from here in there. The power is coming in here. Um, we have the sensors over here one is the next one sensor and this one over here is the uh, limit sensor so we switch it on and we enter the mode of rotate and we have the dial set on zero so let's see if it is uh, within limits That's 0 0.1 millimeters, negative and positive. That's within range. So we can start with the cutting and the cutting setup. Be back in a minute. This is the metal tool post with carbide uh, tip, tool tips and uh, they are not that very sharp so you see it won't cut in the material but over here we have the plastic tool post with uh, special tool, uh, tool tips like this one and they can easily cut in your fingers so i will demonstrate it with a piece of paper and you see it will cut through paper like this and easily within the plastic so we take this tool bit that was originally put in like this but we want to cut over in this way without rotating the head so we turn the tool post and put some spacers underneath it and then tighten a cutter so and now move into the piece Now we have to go to the full mode and it is in uh, rotate mode but we also want to have the auto rotate mode so we press next switch to on and see auto mode now we turn to the full mode this is the go to mode now the full mode 
and in the full mode we enter five positions that five positions enter next we are set now we are ready to cut so we start cutting the first stripe and from the next sensor it's moving to the um, move the camera a little to this sensor over here and that's the limit and now we are start start cutting until the limit sensor warns us and we go back to this sensor over here until that is pushed and now it rotates to the next position that's now we have to switch to go to and we have to enter 36 degrees press next and again we have to go to a full five positions so we switch to the mode is full we enter five positions we press next and it's set to go but we don't want the medium stripes as long as the uh, whole numbers so I have to move the limit the limit sensor a little bit closer and now I can cut again with the auto mode set on for the next cut Now we have to enter full mode 50 positions. So we enter 50. Press next. It's set. But these are, are the small stripes. So we move the limit sensor a little bit shorter. And now we start cutting this is the first cut going back this was the dial the graduated dial that was over here and couldn't read those tiny spacings um, but now with the new dial we have bigger spacings and easier to read and uh, there's a key in here at the bottom so we're going to push it inside and that's much easier than this one I have to paint the stripes that's a later work thanks Dave for your support next video I will show you my compact stepper house mounting for existing rotary tables and the introduction of my all-in-one Benchwise T-Nuts and independent chuck rotary table design. See you next time.